we're going to start this beast up. All right. Ready for it? Oh yeah, she sounds freaking great today, guys. Music licensing reimagined. All right, guys. So welcome back again to another video on my channel. Okay, so today <clears throat> uh, I got something for my truck. It actually is for the interior of my truck. It's not for the exterior or for the engine or anything like that. It's actually just for the interior. It's not that that big of a thing it actually just makes it very convenient okay so uh before i actually install it because very quick install and i don't want this video to be like two minutes long right so um i want to talk a little bit about um kind of like my my interior right so you all you all know i have this in here right um i'm on some of like the forums oh, what about this lens I'm on some of the forums on on um, Facebook and stuff like that, and I've seen people post stuff on there like, "Hey, you know what's you know what's this? What's this? Whatever. How do you install the double din?" I see a lot of people uh, kind of straying straying away from actually doing a double din because they're afraid to cut into the dash. So me personally, this thing right here, uh, this is my argument. This thing right here, this whole thing is like 50 bucks. You can get this whole entire thing for 50 bucks on eBay. And um, with that being said though, I know it's 50 bucks, so some people don't have that extra 50 bucks, but if you're already buying a radio and you don't wanna buy like a dash kit and cut your dash, you wanna just keep like the stock dash, all you have to do is literally unbolt these. I gotta fix this, I gotta get a new one of these anyways, but I gotta cut this out. <clears throat> but you literally just pop these out of there, undo these, screw on, screw that stuff, take these vents out of there, and then you, put that new, all that stuff into that new dash panel. And the new dash panel actually, so the one I found on eBay, is like 50 bucks and it comes with this already, not not the radio, but this uh, this already like fabricated into it. They actually use like the epoxy and I think like fiberglass or something, I'm not really sure. But they use something or whatever to make it to where that's already in the dash. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let me show you this product that we're gonna, I'm gonna be unboxing it on here I have not unboxed it yet so hopefully it's in good working order so that way we can actually um install it today it, it's like a two second install it's very easy it was pretty cheap I'll put a link down in my description um for it actually so that way you guys can actually see um or maybe you guys can even buy it if you want to you know if you guys don't have a center console like I don't have a, I have this in my center console right this is actually for that so um <clears throat> move my hat and whatnot <clears throat> move all the stuff out of my thing so excuse my messy center console okay <laughs> all right so let me put y'all down real quick once I all right i don't know if you guys can really see me that well okay you guys can kind of see me so uh what i have right here is this is it right here this is in a box i just got it from amazon was like two days pretty quick um so let me i don't have a knife in here with me so I will show you what this is. And it, I mean, it's not super heavy or anything. It's not like anything crazy. So this is what it is. I mean, let me undo this. You guys can't really see it. Okay. So this is it right here. So this is a center console. And literally, let me move out. <laughs> I got to move all this stuff out of my freaking center console. Okay. All right. So literally what this does is it and you can actually even keep all the stuff to where it'll still work in here um so what it does is this so it literally goes on here it's braced by the inside of your center console and i'll show you guys in a second i'll pick you guys up uh so all right guys so like i said sorry i had to kind of clean out a little bit so this right here, it actually is pretty, pretty sturdy. It's actually really nice. Um, it has these two cup holders, it has like a little uh, slot right here. You can put like your phone or something in there. Uh, I have my phone already on my dash. So that is pretty much it right there. I lift it up just a little bit. <clears throat> okay. So now let me shut this and put the, put the stuff back in here. 
my mess of stuff. And I'll show y'all some, I'll show y'all actually exactly what this is. All right, so, oops. Okay, so, so this is it right here. It makes it super nice. I know I had this right here, but now, instead of having to do that, I can put my water right there and I can shut that. So now I don't have to have any rattling and all the other stuff. Um, this does not close though. I think that doesn't close because it's kind of like offset. I have to kind of lift it up, I think. I need both hands to do it though. Um, but you either like lift it up and then close it so it latches. Oh, sorry, being way out of camera. <laughs> uh, you, have to, you have to close it so the way it latches and then um, it'll make it to where you can actually close this correctly. So there's, I actually got this off of the forum. Well, not off the forum, but I got the idea to buy this. I got this on Amazon. It was like 25 bucks or 24 bucks or something, just, just under 25 bucks. Um, free shipping, well, to me, at least here, I'm in Kentucky, so I'm not really sure how it'll be for y'all, but um, like I said, super easy install. Uh, it has like, it's actually meant for like even bigger cups too. This is a, this is just a shaker bottle, like a regular, I mean, you can see, it's, I mean, it's pretty big, I guess, but it's a regular shaker bottle. Um, and it fits in there. I mean, it kind of lopsided a little bit, but I mean, it does still super nice, super easy installed. No like cutting or any of that stuff like that. Um, I, I honestly, I've used my, a lot of people have uh, switched over to like the, I think it's like a Laramie or something like that, whatever, like the actual full, um, like the King console, the center console. Uh, however, me though, I've used this seat in the middle too many times to actually do that. Um, and whenever like someone comes visit, visit me, <clears throat> if it's more, if it's just like my mom or somebody can visit us, um, I use this center seat so that way, um, you know, so we can sit in the middle, we have six seats in here instead of, well, five, you know, then plus me six, but <clears throat> we have five extra seats in here instead of only four so we can actually put something in there we don't have to take two vehicles it's kind of a pain to do all that stuff so to me the reason why i bought this um is just so that way i don't have to put a console in here and also that's just a little bit extra money i don't really need to spend i really would rather spend it on go fast parts than spend it on um yeah center console i don't really need to spend like 500 bucks on center console it's kind of stupid this is 25 bucks well not stupid i'll take it back that's not stupid it's just I don't really see the point in it for me to have that, but it's pretty cool though. I would definitely, I would definitely do it. If I didn't use this at all, or if I had like another, like a third row vehicle or something like that, that I drove or something like that, like an excursion or something, like another diesel, I would hundred percent probably get the center console for the visit my show truck or something like that. But <clears throat> I honestly don't really care about that stuff. I just want to go fast and I don't really need that, but this makes it a little more convenient. Uh, for me, <clears throat> and then, you know, if I have, obviously, if I have somebody sitting right there, if we need more cup holders, I can flip down this beast right here. But this, it kind of rattles because I have chains in there, and I actually have <clears throat> extra, like, LED bulbs for my, <laughs> for up here. But, um, obviously, I don't, like, use those right now, so it just sits in there and rattles. So it's kind of annoying, um, but it's whatever. But just, I just kind of want to show you guys another, um like a piece that you can put into your center, your uh, truck inside of it in your interior. Uh, you know, I don't always just do, uh, I kind of want to change up that I don't always just do exterior stuff or always just do engine stuff. Um, this is a quick install. Like I said, I know I'm talking for a little bit, but just a quick install. And I hope you guys like this video though. Uh, shoot a thumbs up, subscribe, put that notification bell on that. You know, it really helps me grow. When you guys, um, when you guys follow, when you guys like my videos and whatnot, um, or just like, I guess if you guys don't like my content, you know, it's whatever you guys are free to do so you know, it's America. Uh, so, um, hopefully you guys like my content though. Um, if you guys want to order this, um, obviously I was not given this by a company. I, I bought it myself. I don't know anybody who makes these. I just order off Amazon. Um, but it is, seems like a great product right now. I just have to uh, make sure the center console thing shuts. And uh, actually, before I end this video, let me get it to shut so I can actually show you guys what I did. Actually, got it to shut. Um, <laughs> uh, what I did is actually is I picked it up right, and um, you can actually still access this handle right here. There's like a little groove for it, uh, but I can't really get it up right now. I mean, it was kind of stuck kind of before. Uh, so what I did is I just lifted it up and I kind of just like hit it down and it and it uh, shut all the way. So I don't really get into here that often. 
Um, so it's not really that huge of a deal to me. It's still, it will still open. I just, I gotta get a new, like a new latch for it. Or I may actually end up getting a new center console for this. So if I can find like a wreck truck or somebody just selling the center console itself, I will probably jump on that. Cause I do need to get a new one, um, specifically only for the lid or if I can just get the lid, whatever. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, so like I said though, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, just a quick little install thing, quick little, uh, just kind of like a, not a necessity, but kind of like a quick little, uh, um, yeah, like a convenience install kind of thing. Um, so yeah, click the notification bell, click the like button, subscribe, uh, hit up the Instagram if you guys have any questions at all. Check out the link for this thing down in the description, and I will see you guys in the next